Hello Libras, welcome to your June 2020 love reading. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email. My rates are below. We can go ahead and work that out. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Libras. Love energy for June 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe, and closer to the divine? Any messages that you have would be greatly appreciated. And thank you for Libra's love energy is June 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know? Can you please show me Libra's love energies prior to June 2020? What were their love energies prior to? Okay, the Six of Pentacles here in the upright. I will be leaving a link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling and in that spread will be something you do not know about them in addition to if they are seeing somebody else or interested in somebody else um energies in june the sun card in reversed also check out my 2020 sun moon predictions on my playlist my 2019s are in there also um I'm also starting my compatibility readings again, which I never had time to do. Now I have extra time, so I've picked those up again. So keep an eye out for those. Ask me a question on Instago. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Um, so the energies I'm kind of getting from the Six of Pentacles here is that, okay, this is a relationship that is it's based on an arrangement okay um you know either but it, to me a very practical arrangement so for instance um one of you is going out and making the money or one of you is the the earner or the other person stays home takes care of the kids and the house whoever you know whoever that is and that is the arrangement that exists between the two of you um one of you is in charge of doing all the stuff that needs to get done outside the landscaping and mowing the lawn and what have you and the other person is in charge of the inside of the house doing more um you know the laundry and sweeping and things like that so there's an arrangement between the two of you so that's all well and good but what i'm getting is that it's from a very practical standpoint i'm not getting love in this i'm not getting passion in this or chemistry i feel like okay we're kind of it's it's more like an amicable relationship that works um maybe it just over time it became this and it's just kind of going through the day to day getting up in the morning okay what's your day look like this is my day and you know just kind of but i i feel like when it comes to love the romance the passion there isn't any of that it's just a very practical arrangement between the two of you so either you guys entered into it having it be that because some people actually have that you know happening or it has become that over time now in june i see you as going well you know this relationship is okay but man you know i i know there's something better out there for me i know that this is not a relationship this isn't what fulfills me and as you kind of exist in this relationship you're kind of having to remind yourself to be positive and you know um try to be optimistic and all this other stuff but it just kind of feels like this relationship is not it's just like sort of like a gray film that's over your life and you know things could be better um and and it's contributing to maybe sadness maybe depression um any of that stuff so i feel like you have this discovery in june and coming out of june you make the decision that you can't be in it any longer um because we have the death card which is the card of scorpio if that resonates what I'm getting with this card, you just decide it has to be over and done with. That if you continue to stay in this, it's really not going to yield anything. It's not going to do anything for you. In fact, it's just dragging you down um, all over, making you feel very melancholy. So I feel like you make the decision to cause this relationship to die. So major ending, it's over, it's done. Um, you don't plan on going back. You end this relationship and you move forward and pretty much burn it down to the ground and and i'm not saying that like in a hateful way it's just like in your mind you have to make it seem like it's no longer an option and, and move on from it so you can seek your happiness elsewhere why is the six of pentacles here in the upright in regards to libra's love energies prior to june who is this person what is this energy additional messages from six of pentacles in the upright libra's love energies for june Whew. temperance card in the upright which is the card of sagittarius wheel of fortune and reversed 
So, I mean, yeah, it's like kind of going through the day to day. The temperance card, it's like, okay, let me, let, let's just kind of stay where we are. Let's keep things good. Um, let's have compromise. It, but it's just, the, the thrill is gone. Um, it, it's just, this relationship is like moderate and it's just kind of like taking everything in the day to day and kind of blending it and finding an okay place to be or a peaceful place to be. It, it's a peaceful relationship. It just doesn't fan your fire. Um, Wheel of Fortune in Reverse suggests to me that this is like a safe bet. So, you know, this isn't, it's just kind of like, okay, well, let's do this because it's safe, because we know each other, because we don't know what's out there. It's, this is working for right now the way we're doing. So let's not, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I feel like there's that kind of attitude, that kind of complacency that's kind of going along with things. I mean, going along with this. And then we have the Nine of Wands here in Reverse where, I sort of feel like you feel very boxed in. Um, I feel like this other person could possibly be the more dominant person and you just kind of placate them. Um, I feel like, you know, you're, you're worried that if you say anything, then, you know, all hell's going to break loose. You're going to get attacked because of it. Uh, you're really worried about kind of, you know, bringing up, hey, this isn't working for me, you know. Um, and, and so you're having that hesitation to actually do that. But I think June causes it to hit home because you realize you could be a lot happier. Why is the Sun card here in reversed? Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is the Sun card here in reversed? Justice card. There's your car card. And part of you is like, you know, it, it doesn't sit well with you to stay in a relation it's not the right thing to do i mean if some of you have kids you're kind of saying to yourself you know what kind of example am i sort of setting up for my kids um and this person i feel like they blow up every so often because the queen of swords is here in reverse and sometimes she can be demanding um and that's when things turn so this can happen in june where they become more demanding and they're insisting on more stuff and they're putting you know um you know pressure on you to perform or, or what have you and it just it just gets to be too much and I think this is kind of like the straw that breaks the camel's back because now we have the six of pentacles in reverse so it's no longer an equal relationship now it's somebody is taking everything and the other person is on the crappy end of the stick and it's it's really not working out so I feel like this is where you kind of come to your conclusion that this has to end because the tides have turned and not in your favor why is the death card here on the upright for Libras in regards to how they'll be moving forward in love, in regards to love, out of June? Why is the death card here? Yeah, you realize there's nothing worth investing in here anymore. You haven't gotten anything out of it. The more you put in, the less you get out of it. Things haven't progressed. There's no, there's no reason to kind of stay in it anymore. The King of Wands is you deciding, I need to take charge of this. I need to be my own boss. I need to exert my own power and kind of make a decision and kind of make that happen because this person is um, stopping me from experiencing life. Um, now, part of this too is that you are really having this this worry, this fear of the unknown, like what is out there? Um, you know, what you're gonna run into? Is there gonna be another partner or whatever? So that's one of the reasons why you stayed in this out of fear of, of what else could be out there. You know, that saying, it's better to be with the devil we know than the devil we don't know. So you're definitely unsure of yourself. Um, that might cause some delays and kind of step back a little bit in regards to meeting somebody else. But you don't have to get out of a relationship to go to somebody else or be with someone else. You get out of a relationship, you be by yourself because it's not working for you. And I feel like that's what you guys are deciding to do. So if this resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can make that happen. Um, click on the link below for what your love interest is thinking and feeling and in that spread I will have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're interested in somebody else and what else oh yeah 2020 sun moon reading predictions from my playlist or my 2019s I've gotten back on my compatibility readings so keep an eye out for those ask me a question on Insta, go check me out on Insta and Facebook like share subscribe and or donate otherwise adios from Veronica Garnett bye